Welcome into Texans Today. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs, and coming up on today's show, we have some mocks sent by you, the fans here at Texans Today. I'm going to be going through all the fan mocks that were sent to me, and you would not believe how many mocks got sent to me in my DMs. Some big mocks, some little mocks, some massive mocks, mocks here, mocks here, mocks everywhere. We're going to be breaking down the best ones on today's show. Shout out to everybody who did send me your mock. You were brave enough to go online and send me your mock. That's, that's really big of you. Bit, very, very big of you. But before we get into all of your drafts, I want to do another one of these. But my boss has said, hey, you can't do them that often. You can't do it. You know, you need to kind of get your Twitter game up a little bit before you can do some more fan mock drafts. So I said, okay, once I get to 3K, we're going to do another fan-led mock draft here on Texans today. So if you want to have another one of these shows, with our Texans fans mock drafts, go hit me up on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs and give me a follow. I'm currently at 2889. Once I get to 3K, we'll do another one of these shows. And let's get right into it. This mock by, and but great Twitter names also, by the way. He will call the 12, <laughs> sent me this mock. And it starts off with Edgerin Cooper, the linebacker from Texas A&M. A very trendy pick that you'll see today is Edgerin Cooper, the Texans did meet with Cooper, and they are in line for looking at a linebacker in this year's draft. They lost Blake Cashman. They lost Denzel Perryman. Yes, they brought in Aziz Alshire, but that's just one guy. They recently signed Neville Hewitt as well, but he's going to be a special teams depth piece. So you have Christian Harris. You have Aziz Alshire. Do they feel comfortable in Henry Toto? I think that's why we see a lot of Edgerin Cooper going along this mock draft as well. Tyler Newbin, a good pick. I like that. Safety out of Minnesota. Malachi Corley, another one of those sneaky middle round wide receivers that the Texans could look to add. A lot of good wide receivers in this draft. Leonard Taylor, defensive tackle. Javon Baker, another good sneaky wide receiver in this draft. We have Jalen Sim what is that? Jalen Simpson, cornerback from Auburn. Blake Watson and Tanner McClendon, right? McClendon? Uh, it's, it's a little small on my screen, but thank you. What, what was that? McLaughlin. There we go. Yeah, Tanner McLaughlin. I couldn't really read it as much on my screen. Also, you send me your mocks in the future. Let's uh, can we crop out the. We we don't need the, the 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 top bar. Just just crop me the mock. Give me a crop mock. Next one coming in from Yasser Malik 13. Thank you for sending me your mock draft. He has the Texans trading back again to 54, getting TJ Tampa, Edrin Cooper. Talked about him earlier. Cameron Kitchen, safety out of Miami. I like that at the 85th spot. You also get 86 with Javon Baker. Marshawn Lloyd is a sneaky good running back in the middle rounds. Same with Jaheim Bell. He's a really under the radar tight end. Really big guy from Florida State. Um, I like this mock. I, I, I think this one's pretty good, Malik. I, I, I think this is a pretty solid mock by you. Thank you for sending in your mock drafts. And something that I see from both th these guys is first pick defense. So I think a lot of people are thinking the Texans are going to go defense with their first, second pick in this year's draft. But I'm not convinced that they're going to do that. I think they might go offense with one of those first two picks in this year's draft. What say you? Do you think the Texans are going to – are going to focus more on the offense or the defense in this year's draft. If you think it's offense, type O. If you think it's defense, type D. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, perfect timing. Just let me know down below which are they going to focus on more, offense or defense. Next up, Houston IDKI sent me his mock draft. Here we go. Devondre Sweat. At 42, defensive tackle from Texas. And this is a really trendy pick as well for the Texans at 42. A lot of y'all in the comments are telling me, I love Tavondre Sweat. Get Tavondre Sweat to Houston. I like Tavondre Sweat at 42. I think you might be able to get him a little bit later. I don't know. I'm not as high on him as other people are. Don't get me wrong. I think he's going to be a really good defensive tackle for years to come. I just worry about his first, second year getting into the league, being conditioned, and being a three-down uh, defensive lineman. We've seen guys like Jalen Carter have a lot more success than guys like Jordan Davis that are more the you know size and build of a Tavondre Sweat. So I do like that pick at 42, but I would almost want to wait till 59. He has TJ Tampa there, Malachi Corley as well, Cedric Gray, a good linebacker from North Carolina, and Isaac uh, Gernardo, 
from Louisville. I, I hope I'm saying that last name right. He has been a very trendy pick as well in the middle to late rounds for running back. I looked up a cup, uh, some of his film. Very, very good running back. Very strong runner. Um, interesting name there in the middle. I do think the Texans are going to take running back at some point in this draft, probably in the later round. So that would be a decent one there. Good mock by this uh, sent to me for this one as well. Eric, all tight end from Iowa and Julian Pearl right there. Some good late round picks, but I wouldn't be able to show any of your mocks today if it wasn't for our sponsor of today's show. And that is game time. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. I've been using game time for a while and it's my go-to ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and comedy shows. This year alone, I've been to see, or I've went to see Shane Gillis, Dave Chappelle, Drake, Adele, and planning on going to multiple Astros games. Don't miss out on a once-in-a-lifetime experience by using Game Time to get you the best deals on last-second tickets. Buy tickets in seconds with two taps. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event, and even an hour after it starts, it's the place to find last-minute seats. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app and create an account and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, CHATSPORTS, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Go get, check them out at Game Time. Now, the next mock was sent to me uh, by I'm With The Sheet. <laughs> These names got me cracked up. Uh, 42, Lad McConkie, which I haven't really seen a lot of mocks with Lad McConkie going to the Houston Texans. I I don't know where I am with him yet. I think he's a good receiver. I think he could be a decent receiver in the NFL. Not a lot of production last year at Georgia for the wide receiver, but I think the Texans might want to go receiver at 42 or 59. I don't know if it's Lad McConkie, though. He has 59 Cameron Kitchen safety from Miami, McKinley Jackson, defensive tackle from a and at 86. I like the Jalen Wright pick at 123. He's another one of those middle round running backs that I really do like. I also like Cam Hart and Tommy Eichenberg. Uh, Tommy Eichenberg obviously has the ties with C.J. Stroud from Ohio State. And Cam Hart is a really good pickup for a middle round uh, cornerback that you may, maybe want to develop for a year or two. I think he's a really good pick. Ryan Watts, safety from Texas, and Gabriel Murphy, Edge from UCLA. Oh, fun fact, Gabriel Murphy, former North Texas alum, Mean Green. Let's go. Put him up. Thank you for sending me your mock. And now let's go to the next one from Dat Boy Arillo. This one has 42. Another wide receiver, but this time it's Troy Franklin, wide receiver from Oregon. Then we go Ennis Rakestraw, cornerback from Missouri. Blake Corm, running back from Michigan at 86. Tyler Davis, defensive tackle from Clemson. Jaden Hicks. Uh, safety from Washington State, Christian Jones, offensive tackle from Texas, Josh DeBerry, cornerback from Texas A&M, and then Sam Hartman at 247 there. I do have to say, this combo right here of Franklin and Rakestraw, I really, really do like. The only thing that's really, you know, stopping me from giving this mock a better grade, that boy, is I would rather go at 86, go defensive tackle rather than wait till 123. I know Blake Corum's there, but the difference between a, getting a Blake Corum and one of those next running backs on the uh like that it that's in the 2024 NFL draft. I don't think there's that much disparity between him and the next couple of guys. So I would have gone defensive tackle at 86 instead of waiting for 123. But another good mock sent to me this time by Dat Boyarillo. And he went Troy Franklin. The one before was Lad McConkey. Out of these middle round prospects, who would you choose? Who do you think is the best prospect? out of the bunch. Do you think it's Troy Franklin from Oregon type TF, Keon Coleman from Florida State type KC, Lad McConkey LM, Xavier Leggett XL, or Malachi Corley MC? I've seen a lot of these guys mock to the Texans in round two and three. What, do, what say you? Who do you think is the best prospect for the Houston Texans? Go down in the comment section and let me know. Next mock coming in from 1995, Devondre Sweat at 42, another Sweat draft. Then we have Xavier Leggett, wide receiver from South Carolina at 59. He doubles up at wide receiver. Another popular name amongst a lot of draft analysts is Johnny Wilson, wide receiver from Florida State. Massive dude. Massive dude. Needs more polishing on his route running, but he is a large human being. Go check him out if you haven't already. Johnny Wilson 
from Florida State. I do like being able to get Kyrie Jackson from Oregon there at 123. I really like what he brings to the table at the cornerback position. I think he fits well with this Texans team. Jalen Ford at 127. Don't mind that pick. Isaac uh, Gorindo. I, 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 need to, I need to figure out how to say his name. Running back from Louisville. Another really good middle round running back. And that's kind of what I was saying earlier about Blake Corum. I'd much rather have Isaac at 188 than Corum at 86 because I think the value is so much better. You already have Mixon starting. So I don't think you need to draft a running back early, especially in this draft. Um, Frank Crum, offensive tackle from Wyoming, and Damani Richardson, safety from Texas A&M. Thank you for sending me your mock. And then we have, I believe this is the last one we have. Uh, this one from Eric W. Reed. He has TJ Tampa at 42, Braden Fisk at 59, trades up for Ricky uh, Pearsall at 79, wide receiver from Florida. Another guy that I could have added to that graphic earlier of guys that middle round guys that could really benefit from sliding to a team like the Houston Texans with CJ Stroud. I think Ricky Pearsall is a really good wide receiver prospect. Jalen Wright running back from Tennessee, uh, Layden Robinson offensive guard from Texas A&M. Then we have Tommy Eichenberg again from Ohio State and Ryan Watts, safety from Texas. So, pretty good mocks. Eric Reed, I like this one as well. I like TJ Tampa, Braden Fisk, 1-2. Um, overall, I, I, I liked all, a lot of the mocks that I got sent. And I want to do that again. So, if we want another fan-led mock draft here on Texans today, go give me a follow on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs, and we can get it done once I hit 3K. And as always, don't forget, Hit that sub button for daily Texans news and rumors videos all year long. We are the number one Texans channel on YouTube. So go down, hit that sub button, and let's get it going.